Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Drinks with the Martins on Mondays. We're back with the Monday shows, Monday motivations, chill, hang out, have some conversations, drink some drinks, do what you want to do. My water. <laughs> we got some water today. That's for sure. Drinking water. Um, it's it's a uh, it's it's an interesting one because this is our first episode without having to talk about uh, Star Wars or. Oh, I was going to talk about Star Wars. I mean, we can talk Star about Wars. some Star Wars, but not Mandalorian Mondays anymore. No, I was just going to say that's what I did on Sunday is I binge watched every single Star Wars movie until 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, I saw that. I saw a couple of them with you. Um, it was fun. My favorite, Empire Strikes Back. In between my games and stuff, I went over and watched. Yeah, I mean, oh it was gosh. cold. Some people in Texas got lucky and got to see snow and play in the snow. And here in Houston, all we got was rain. So rain, 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 cold, rain. cold rain. We were hoping for snow later in the day, but didn't happen. So our kids did not get their classes canceled for a snow day. Yeah, we didn't. <laughs> What's good, Silver Snake? Uh, that video is about to publish with uh, Silver Snake, who won a giveaway for Call of Duty uh, key with me on my stream. Um, and it honestly is probably one of the best videos ever. It's so funny. So you're going to release it. It's so play. good. It's so good. Yeah, I'm, I got to do an intro video for it to kind of explain this, the situation, the scenario, uh, give some story to the clip, and then publish it on YouTube. So. Very nice. But we definitely got to get into more games. And speaking of games, I did get a recommendation from a viewer that was like, hey, maybe you guys should do some Drunken Among Us. You know, maybe on a Friday stream or even like a Saturday stream. So what if one of us doesn't get drunk? Like me. I mean, I never drink enough. To, I mean, I don't. You I, do. You do. I don't drink that much to get you belligerently do. drunk. I'm very well. I'm very you aware do. of myself when I'm drunk. Yeah. I guess well, I'm we just more talkative when I'm drunk. We can get Silver on. We can get Vio on. We can get Drew on. I'm gonna have to make up Krista. a uh, make up a character though. Like I'm not gonna be me when we're playing this game. I'm gonna have like some type of alter ego. So if we stream it. I'm going to have to like figure out a costume or something. You want to be a character? I'm going to be a character if we stream it. Okay. I mean, if that's what you want to do, for sure. That's let's what do I'm going to do. I'm going to do something different. Okay. And I am aware of myself. Uh, Yeho, you were here at the party. I knew exactly what I was doing. Pretty much sitting outside and hanging out. Yeah. Even though I had had, I had a couple of drinks in the yeah. other day. Um... I don't but, get crazy drunk like those people that get drunk and they just start going out in the street and screaming and acting <laughs> acting a fool acting crazy like I never I know I never did that very in control I guess yeah um it'd be fun though I think it'd be a lot of fun for us to go do so play among us play among us <sighs> do some among us games uh have some drinks have some uh nice every time you guess incorrectly take a shot if you get killed take a shot if you get killed take a shot if you guess incorrectly you take a shot if you, you lose win, a game no if you, you lose a game well, if you win you just take a shot just keep taking um, a shot. <laughs> just keep it's got to be shots. a scenario where you don't have to take a shot that though. would be pointless then it wouldn't be drunken among us <laughs> it's true this is true but you have to drink a lot yeah, I mean, there's a lot of scenarios where we can do it for sure, but it'd be fun either way. Yeah. Well, I guess Monday being Monday, you know, stuff has to hit the fan. And I guess stuff hit the fan with Parlor. Yeah, I saw that. You know, uh, AWS saying, you're shut down. Got banned from Google. The stores. Yeah, And Google then Play, turned around and, and got banned. Yeah. And now they filed a lawsuit against Amazon because of breaking some type of law, I believe. I have it on here. It's a, they broke a law by, by removing um, them? That's basically, crazy. Basically, Parler's saying they're going to sue Amazon for suspending their app from cloud service, claiming antitrust violation and breach of contract. Yeah. Um, so they obviously have their attorneys on this. They're, ski they're seeking temporary relief after being basically blackballed by Amazon mm -hmm. Web Services. And we're going to kind of see what's going on um i had heard about parlor 
when did we hear about it? We started hearing about Parlor probably like four or five months ago. Like a couple of my friends actually got on Parlor and they were recommending that I get on yeah. Parlor. And I was like, well, I'm already on Facebook and I'm Twitter and Snapchat and Instagram. I was like, I don't need an extra social media app that I'm not going to pay attention to. Um. So yeah, Parlor was just one of those things that I just wasn't I mean, really interested in. My thing is, is like they're not the only web providers. There are other web providers out there. Yeah, uh, but I think that's just who they're built and them, set up for. That's yeah, what they're, they're set up on. with that's, AWS. But I think the fact that AWS did this is going to kind of push I mean, away anybody else to pick them up. Me coming from a tech side, that's their fault uh, because you should have been redundant and should have had multiple web providers available, especially something like that. You know, I don't know. I just think it's, it's crazy. Works. I mean, this year we work. thought. Hey, it's 2020, and now it's 2021 with a mullet. Um, <laughs> it's just one one disaster to oh, a complete man. another one with just a new haircut. We just got a new haircut, guys. It's still 2020. We just got a new haircut. That's all. That's yeah. all it is. It's just another catastrophe waiting to happen. It's a great. Krista way to said start that uh, going back to the Among Us. Krista said that she's going to be Corpse's new husband. Uh, I'm the next corpse husband. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. can you get your voice that low? <laughs> um, you got to be able to, like, be on his level. You got to get your voice that low. I want to hear it. That I would like to hear that, actually. That'd be uh, super interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy times. I don't want to get wrapped up too much into it. It is what it is. It's too political. It's too heated. I just thought it's it was just interesting like, to see them go, hey, yeah. we're going to shut your services down. And then literally an hour later, okay, you're getting sued then. You know, it was really quick. Yeah. Real, real quick. And I'm surprised that they didn't file a lawsuit against Apple. I don't know that they can. I don't think that even the lawsuit against against Azure is going to stay. It's just not. You, you choose. You chose them as a provider. They didn't. You didn't. They didn't choose you as a right. customer. You know. I don't know. So, it's just crazy, crazy stuff that's happening right now. Yeah, I mean, lawsuits and businesses have been around since the beginning of the country. Like, that's been a thing. Like everybody sees. I think that's what that's what Ford Ford. I think it was Ford started off with building its country on uh, or building its company on suing people across the country. Right. That's what they do. That's what that's what companies do. When you if you're a big enough company, you can take somebody to court, even though you know you're not going to win. You can take them to court long enough to put them out of business because they can't afford to fight it in court. Yeah, you so. basically stop everything and dead in its tracks and leave it at that. Well, another tech news, CES 2021 is actually going to go virtual this year. Yes. Which is that's, super cool because I want to watch it live. That's going to be awesome. I haven't been to see, we haven't been to CES in Since Vegas. a decade now. It was so much fun when we went. I oh. used to love going to CES. That was like one of my favorite. It was, I actually probably liked it more than I like SEMA. SEMA was like a big car show. You can literally walk the whole place in a day and be done. But CES, I would literally go like three or four days and enjoy the entire trip there. It was just, it was so good. Um... Yeah, it's just crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, like, I think having more of these big conferences like that, digital is going to be huge. Um, I yeah. did show interest in us getting involved with a esports gaming conference. Uh, I did comment on some things on LinkedIn that some people that I'm connected with were trying to do. Uh, your phone is possessed. Yeah, apparently there's a spirit that has taken over my phone and now it's clicking on stuff. And She's literally not touching I'm it. I'm not touching it. <laughs> and it's deciding to post <laughs> things. It off, so if you see off. something posted on Twitter or Instagram that's doesn't make any sense, it wasn't They're me. hacks. They're hacks. <laughs> I think the government has hacked me now because I mentioned something about AWS. <laughs> I succeeded in pissing off the entire country. I succeeded in pissing said. somebody off who decided to take over my phone. Just, Just going to restart it. Yeah. Um, I had my links on there of things that we were going to talk about, but I guess I just lost it. I so. mean, this is the chill, You're chill off. Monday stream. It's right? your turn now to talk about. It's something. a chill Monday stream. We're just hanging out, chatting with the with the viewers, and maybe throw some polls out there if you guys want a poll. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think it's gonna be cool. 
to have these digital conferences to be able to go to a lot more people to go to these conferences you know yeah it's going to give people the opportunity to actually see what we got to see when we were going in there because it mm -hmm. was it, when we went it was it wasn't that it was exclusive it was just hard to get tickets because they would sell out so quickly well and it was hard to see everything you had um, to go for three days yeah and even then you had to pick and choose it's like what am i going to go see what am i not going to go see <laughs> why did you because we were talking about you krista playing a um, drunken among us we're gonna have a drunken among us mm -hmm. stream yep and we know how much you love playing among us especially with your boyfriend or your future husband uh i don't know that you actually play with him but <laughs> you no, wish you did <laughs> you watch his streams um if you did play with him you should bring him on the show <laughs> but uh um you know and then that way we can get on here have some drinks play among us Blame each other for killing each other. And take shots. And find out who your real friends are. We're going to have to do something <laughs> crazy because we can't both be in the same room when we're playing Among Us. You can us. stream from your room. I'll yeah, I'm going to stream from my, my office. Yeah. <laughs> my office is yeah. so... You stream from your office. Do you want the green screen in there? Why would I need a green screen? I Because we have one. I, I can set it up and you can use it. So it's, what am I going to show right myself on us. a vacation on a beach somewhere? You can put yourself wherever you want. You can put the yourself Swiss in Bali Alps. Bali or the no, Swiss Alps. No, I would or... be in the mountains somewhere. I would not be at the beach. I, I fall asleep to him every beach. night. <laughs> oh, she's got him husband. on his. Yeah. She's, she's got him on on her. Uh, Go lie down. On her Google Assistant when she says good night. That's hilarious. Yeah, we actually watched one of his. I a did. little bit of it because they yeah. didn't believe she me. I was like, me. His voice is very low. Yeah, his voice is crazy, but it's because he's a singer, right? That's what he does. No, he streams and he started doing music. He didn't too. do music first. I don't think so. I think he did music first. I don't think he did. There's no way that guy's that big. I don't know how he started because I don't follow him. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I just thought his voice I think was kind of crazy. Yeah, I think he. I want to say he started music first. People found out who he was and he started playing. Yeah, so music first. Oh, um, I never heard of the guy. It's kind of like T-Pain. Look at T-Pain. T-Pain's a, a music artist first. Now he's a big video game streamer. You know? I don't think I've watched T-Pain play. Yeah, I've watched T-Pain. He plays Fortnite and Apex and some other things. And he's got a full production crew working You know, I have yet stuff. to play Fortnite. I have not either. But speaking of Fortnite world record today, I don't know what the final number was. Oh, you gotta look it up. But Google he had it. like two point. When I was watching, he had two point five million concurrent viewers. For what? For watching Fortnite? him play. He Who was getting ready to play Fortnite. Who's uh, let me find him. It's uh the. Are you looking at auto insurance? Yeah, right here. The, the Gref, Gref G. Gref G, Gref G, um, he's from Spain. He's 23 years old. Um, he broke. He was over two million views. I don't know what the final count was, but he, when More I than saw two million viewers, that's all you need to know. When I saw he had 2.5 million viewers, he went. I started like peeking, watching. He was like 1.3, 1.4, 1.8, and then he hit two million, and Home Depot dropped a three. 30 second ads on his 2.5 million oh, viewers. Oh my god! It was so good. I was like, he just, just let me just deposit this check to my account right yeah. now. Yeah, boom. You know, it's just, it's crazy. Um, I have not seen Rust. Rust is cool. I played Rust when it first came out a long time ago. Um, it's cool, but it's funny because it's making a comeback now. Like so, Rust what is exactly is Rust? It's like a survival shooter game, first person viewer, so you wouldn't do well with it. But it's a first person. Oh, that's nice. Well, the uh, X nay on that for me. Thanks, yeah. guys. It's Cannot a first person rest. shooter. Um, first person view shooter that you basically you can build things up. And you get a, crew, a group together. You can build a, a compound and have weapons and things stashed away in buildings. And it's a fun game. It's mm -hmm. fun if you have a group of people to play with. Yeah, it would be something that you want to play solo. Yeah, you'd have to find a group of people. I mean, you can go, like, jump in a game and, like, find out if somebody's willing to let you in their house or whatever and hope they don't just kill you and take all your stuff. Which they probably will. So, but, yeah, it's a fun game. 
not even Dr. D gets that kind of attention. So yeah, I was watching Dr. D. I was watching uh, uh, Which their is reactions. Which shameful, folks. Dr. Was, D should get all the attention. I was watching their reactions to this, and they were just like, they were like, I mean, literally the comments were made of, I thought, oh, you know, you got chat. You guys thought we were big time streamers. We're little streamers compared to these guys. And like, we want to say thank you to all you guys for helping us little streamers out. And they had like at, at the time, I think they had like 60, 70,000 people watching them. But this guy had 2.4 million people watching him. And all he was doing was sitting at his desk, talking to chat, waiting on his Fortnite skin to drop. So how did it start to grow that big? Just because he talking. normally like no because the big deal was is that he had a fortnite skin dropping today hmm. it was his skin of him in the game oh gosh and so he's partnered with with epic games and fortnite and uh he's like hey you know i got a skin coming out i have and he didn't even have like an image like a proper image of it or whatever like he hits like right some random screenshot and was like i need to get a proper image i have two million people in my screen my stream i need to Find it, and it was to the. It was funny because it was a big chunk of it where he couldn't believe it, and he kept opening his own stream up on stream, and it was causing that infinite, yeah, like the infinite view effect. It was really funny, but he he spoke. He just spoke Spanish, but he sounded like he reminded me of when your cousin David went to Guitar Center and jumped on the mic. Sound like he was on a radio show. Like that's how this guy sounds. He speaks <laughs> Spanish, and he sounds oh, like no. he's on a radio show, and he just sounds. He's got the Amazing. radio voice. He probably has yeah. a really good radio voice. And he was wearing like this nice red like jacket on a button up shirt and had his right. hair all done. He had like a little poof at the front and people were like making fun of his poof. But It's better than a dent, right? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it was like the dude had hair, right? Didn't have a dent in his head, his bald head for sure. <laughs> you know, it's better so. than a dent that has its own area code. But everybody kept messing his name up. That was the one thing that was bugging me. Is it was like, oh my gosh, you guys see this guy George? You guys see this guy it's George? I'm like, his name is not George. His name is Gref G. Like, his name. I mean, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce his name actually, but it's spelled G R E F G. Gref G. Gref G. And so it's the Gref G, and he speaks. He's from Spain. He's 24 years old kids killing it he's got 16 million subscribers on youtube probably 17 million that's now. insane you know he's huge he's like he's a huge fortnite player he was playing a couple games when i went on initially and then he just couldn't play because he just had too many people watching him right. and he felt overwhelmed and he just sat there and just talked to chat for i don't know probably a good hour of two i mean that's kind of cool that him. he did that though you know yeah. It Talk was, to his viewers. That's ex that's exactly what the viewers you know want to be able to write something in your chat and then you answer them and, ad and address their questions if they have any questions. Yeah, so. and that's why I always make it a big big effort. It's hard like, to do though whenever you're playing. Yeah, it's hard to do. Well, so when you're playing. All you have to do is talk to chat. You don't have to type to chat, right? You just talk to them because they're watching you play and you just talk to them. But that's why I always make it an effort when I go and check out somebody's stream that that I you know haven't been to whatever. I just say, hey, what's up? Even if I'm just there for a split second, it's like, hey, what's up? Just want to stop by and say hi. Hope you're having a great stream. Something, right? right? Always drop something in chat because it helps them stay motivated in their streaming. Because the thing that you find with smaller streamers is it's hard for them to stay motivated for a long time when they know they have viewers, but nobody's talking. That nobody's happens to saying me all the anything. Time. Nobody's. Hardly anybody well, talks the best dream chat. you had was that time when you were speaking Spanish the whole time and that guy was talking to you in Spanish on chat. I was playing Sea like, of Thieves. Yeah, you were playing Sea of Thieves and this random dude jumped in chat yeah. and he was talking to you in Spanish and you were responding in Spanish. And like maybe that's your forte is do Spanish streams. Well, now that, I'm learning, be, now that I'm learning Italian, maybe Italian. I'll start doing Italian streams. Crystal will be lost, you know. She'll have to learn Spanish or Italian with you, but. Stop, Lulu. <laughs> Keeps on What's up, me. boob? What? <laughs> I'm not even. Is it, be, is it? I don't even know. I don't know. Is it bay, 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 boo, boo, boo? I don't know. Oh, the, the, the DJ horn. The dur, dur, dur. Yeah. yeah. I don't think we have that. We have claps. We have. <laughs> we have laughs. The drums. Creepy nights. That's the best. That's the best one. 
That's when you're doing either a transition or you're having a moment. And then this is like the intro song. To what? I don't know. <laughs> no idea. And then so it's cool because you can vote. That's annoying. I wonder how loud that is to people that are watching. Well, you can turn it down like that. Yeah, I would turn it down. So... She'll just spam that, chat. She'll spam works. chat. She'll she'll be using Google Translate. <laughs> that would be fine too. Use Google to use Google Translate um, to translate English words to Spanish or Italian and put it in the chat. That'd be hilarious. And then you need to get chat. Uh, what's it called? The chat translator. There's a chat translator. Yeah, I know you had it before when I was. I still have it in my yeah. chat. Like randomly. People say something and it translates it. And it's like, you don't need to translate that, but it, he translates it anyway. Yeah. It's pretty funny. I don't know how to set any of that up. Uh, just invite him to your channel. I can help you do that. Mm. Yeah, I still haven't set up half the stuff on my channel. <sighs> Whatever you want to do it. Just let's do it. I just don't ever. <laughs> let's just do it. We need to make another trip out to uh, um, Megaton. Go well, we gotta get Megaton. with the guys from Megaton and find out if we can do a live stream from there, or at least something that we can record and go take a tour of the. Uh, we have all the, the audio brewery. equipment now. Yep, we do. So, we got new audio equipment. Um, we all got mics now. Yep. All we gotta do is, I think we need to get two more desk stands, um, and that's it. And we're rocking and rolling. In a bigger office. Well, to go to on site, so you take, we'll just take this equipment with us, go there. And it'd be it'd be nice. We'd go there and do some uh I'll be also be watching PewDiePie. PewDiePie. <laughs> oh man. Did you hear Bacardi in the background? I did, I heard him. That is so weird that it picked it up. Yeah. He's loud. He's a loud He's cat. very loud. He's over there having an opera. Man, Chris would look at Chris as becoming a she watches all these other streamers. She That's doesn't okay. watch us. <laughs> No. Either that or she's that wah, she, wah, wah. Yeah. yeah, that's you. No. <laughs> that one. I still gotta learn them. Maybe you but. should put little labels next to them. Little sad well, crying there's like, face. There's like these little You have little stickers? There's like these little cards. Oh yeah, because you can write can on use. them. You can write what they are and then you just put them over the top. Oh see that'd be kinda cool. I'm that way not. we know what it is. Yeah, you are watching right now. But yeah, so I don't I'm 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 a horrible writer. And so I don't wanna mess it up. Put, put a, a sad clown on it. Give me some yeah, we need to get some little stickers and put them on there, right? We'll just use um, the um Pokemon stickers. There's a little sad clown in the Pokemon thing. I feel like he's calling me Crystal. Who's calling you Crystal? Calling you Krista. Oh. Maybe the way you say it sounds like you're saying Maybe crystal. because I'm not close enough to the mic, it sounds like I'm saying Crystal. Maybe. Maybe you need to have a better relationship with your <laughs> mic. It's a ah, uh, uh, Krista. 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 Oh yeah, <laughs> Jenny. Where's Jenny at? I don't know. Krista. Jenny. Jenny was off today. Uh, are we? At. So she's off this weekend. Um, we should do the Among Us stream on Friday. Jenny, Krista, Viejo, Joe, us, Andrew, maybe get a whole crew together. Do Among Us. You guys don't have the stream. We'll stream. But you guys can be in the game with us and in voice. That'd be fun. We should get, yeah, that'd be cool. Because do they don't, because they can, they honestly, they can play from their phones, right? Like, yeah, you should be I able think to. it's cross play. I don't know. I, I, I don't know, well, actually. Well, we got to find out. I believe it's cross play. Yeah. If not, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll plan something out and get it going. She's heading to New York. You're going? Watch. Oh, awesome. If cool. you need if you need to borrow a jacket, I told you you can borrow any of my jackets. Do you want to leave your Jeep at our house or is it already at your house? Are you gonna are you gonna put it at the airport? <laughs> airport parking. I don't know that I would do that. We can we can give you a ride at the airport. Um I know they have like this isolation thing things going on. It almost disconnected. Yeah. It's like forty eight hours though. So is it? It's like a forty eight hour okay. um some states, it's not mandatory. I don't know about New York. It might be mandatory in New York. He it's is crazy. Out. So we've been talking about getting a pet cam mm. to put it over here on the cat, so y'all can watch yeah. him sleep before he jumps up and on stuff and has another catastrophe. Krista, you could always uh, bring your Jeep over to my house and let me borrow it. No. <laughs> 
a pet cam for catastrophe. Yes, yeah. we need to get one. So we are taking donations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for donations a new pet for a cam. pet cam. <laughs> um, you can also hit that subscribe button too. Um, yeah, but donations for pet cam for oh, uh, has anyone even checked out Scooby Snacks' store? Have we dropped a link yet? Um, that? no, I don't think we dropped a link to the store, but I'm still waiting on the rest of the sample merch to come in so I can get a better look at it. So far, the mug and the pillow are actually really good, like it, it looks nice, it's clean, um, the graphics look really good. And the quality is good too, which yeah. I like. The pillow is really comfortable. Hey Viejo, can you drop a link to her store in chat? I know I sent you the link, um, but there is a Drinks of the Martins live chat uh, merch link right there. Yeah. We do have some stuff there as well. Um, but she's got her merch store. I'm working on my new merch store. I'm working with Teespring. So, yeah, we're both building nice. up te Teespring stores. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have some new stuff coming down the pipeline for that. That'll be super awesome, right? Yeah, I can't wait. I know the stuff that we've gotten for your stuff is really good. So far, so. two things. Yeah, the mug yeah. and the pillow. But yeah. I haven't gotten the clothes yet. Yeah, because you, you ordered a shirt. Or what did, what else did you order? I think it was a shirt, too. Just a shirt? Did you mm -hmm. get the hoodie? No. Okay. No, there's a hoodie, there's a shirt, and yeah. some other things. And leggings. The leggings. I think the leggings, leggings are awesome. The leggings look super sick. Yeah, the, straight the leggings straight look up awesome. from the 80s. I love it. Very, very retro. Oh, that's why I liked it. I like the design that, that they made too. It was really nice. Um, I'm surprised you don't have a link. Viejo's got a link. He'll link it in chat in a second. Um, I sent it to him earlier. Oh, my phone's starting. That's why it's being weird. Because <laughs> we had to restart it because the ghost took over it. I'm telling you, she man, was hacked, it's the FBI. Yo. She was hacked. Uh, it's got to be the FBI. I'm sure Viejo's looking for the link. So. So what else is new? I mean, I know everybody, uh, oh, what is this? You gifted subs, she didn't you? Five, five subs. subs. Yo, Dang. Appreciate the love. I really appreciate the love. Gary's all excited right here. <laughs> is it going to do this five times? Yes. That's awesome. Look, Sandra. Sandra got... Sandra, the... Um, the one who did your artwork for your did my logo. artwork. Yeah. yeah. You give to the sub. Welcome, bid, Sandra. Tuner's Edge. So <laughs> oh, you got to too. And, and Drew. Fire and Drew. Yeah. Can Viejo match that? Is he scared? Uh oh. <laughs> Is he scared? <laughs> Bro, I'm, I'm afraid, afraid to give away 100 subs. <laughs> That's not that bad. You'll be all right. If you gifted 100 subs, that'd be ridiculous. Yeah, don't do that. I'd be like, yeah, you take that back. <laughs> It's Let good to see. know that the audio works for that, though. Yeah, it does. I'm trying to see if I could um, go to my link. Bidding more. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my God. The music would be 100 times. I'd have to mute it at that point. So, viejo, go get me the link that I sent you in Discord and post it in chat for everybody so I can put, uh, create a command for it. But uh, I'd love to get Scooby Snacks' store uh, LinkedIn chat. And I know I sent it to you. Would it be on here? Um, I don't know. Stores. No, here. Um, it's got to be on here. Yeah, I'll get it. A bidding, bidding war. If you oh, doesn't no. beat me to it. I do not want to have a bidding war. He's like, what link? I linked it. The, oh, my God, bro. Did you link it to his chat one time? He's the worst. I gotta um, get it put on my um my Twitch as well. I'll get it set up there, that way it's easier to access. Let me see. Is that it? Change that, I sent you the link. You need to change it though to US. Maybe does that work? I don't know if that works, but check that link and see if that's the link works. It, no, I don't know. I don't know how to get it. Um, but yeah, I sent you the link. Oh, if you could figure out how to share that link. Okay, there it is. 
Check my Discord message. I don't have Discord open, sir. Uh, you, you can put it phone? in here. It's not on my chair. I sent it to you from Scooby, Scooby Snacks. Gold up. <laughs> Gold up. It's here. It's this link right here. You just gotta go to the bottom. Weird. Where's that coming from? I gotta fix that. Probably from our phones. Interference from our phones, you think? Yes, that link. That's the link, sir. Joe? Yeah, just go ahead and post that in uh, chat. There we go. That's the link. A little late, but we got it. Perfect. So that's got some merchandise up there that we've done. I'm gonna do another logo. Gonna change it up. So I'll have probably one or two logos on there. Yeah, I know you wanted to work on a few more designs. Yeah, I want to get another design done for it. But right now, that's the one that I have. All right, cool. So now there's a command. There we go. <clears throat> Perfect. So I like um, I like the logo that she made. I think it was really nice. Jenny from the block, oh. we were just talking about you. Your ears must have been burning. It must have been burning. We were talking about you. We want to play Among Us on Friday, all of us together. Uh, hello. Hello. We want to do Among Us. That way we can all take yeah. shots whenever somebody gets booted or dies. And you can come here to the house and play from the house and use the kids' computers and kick them off. <laughs> and tell them to go watch TV or something. That's kind of mean. No, they don't need two computers. <laughs> it's true. Um, it'd be fun, though. Uh, and then maybe we can play some pool, jump yeah. in the jacuzzi. No. Come on. It'd be perfect weather. It's cold. Jenny. Oh, that's nice. Two Jenny. Song, Jenny. There we go. Very nice. Thank you so much for the gifted sub. That's much awesome. love. Turn it down just a tad. Yeah, that was pretty loud. Um, hopefully it's not too loud on you guys, but I know that was pretty loud with our ears, right? I think the sound that we have now is a lot better than what we had going before. Oh, I think this made a big difference for sure. Um, we still have some um, trial and error. I, th I there, wonder. I don't know bad. if I need different uh, cables or something, but I do get a crackle from now and then. So. I think it's interference from our phones. It is. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Because as soon as you well, picked no, up because, your phone, I picked up my phone. No, I, doing I've that. gotten it before, uh, without the phones, in the without me being on my phone. I've gotten it during a meeting. No, oh, that's crazy. So it's the cables. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. I think it's the cables. Get some better quality cables, maybe. These are all cheap new. cables equals cheap sound. This Dang. is all new equipment. I don't Yo, understand. Yo, can you go ahead and find me some cables to buy, and I'll buy them. Um, since you're the expert in that field, sir. Look at that, Civil. Chris is taking the lead for the sub gifts. Yep. Viejo's in third, or no, second. Mm -hmm. Third place is up for grabs. I think if you gift one, you tie for second. Um, Viejo gifts one more, then he gets, he stays in second, but he's got to gift five more to take over the lead. So we're gonna have yeah. a, a war, a bidding war. It's on a this. bidding war. That's it's nice. a it's a gifting bid war to random people. You know what you should do, Vio? Actually, you know, be really funny. <laughs> Gift a sub to Tim the Tatman. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> Much as we talk about him and Nick Merckx on this channel, <laughs> that would be amazing. Or uh, uh, who's the other one? Or gift a sub to um um Chevy. The Chevy, yeah, Chevy's another I'd one. I'd gift a sub to Chevy. Yeah, I was asking you how long you want the cables to be. Um, I don't know, six feet, five feet, I don't know. At the point I might just gift a sub to Nick Merz. <laughs> yeah. He won't even care. They do won't even look at it. He won't. Tim the Tap Man might actually look at it and go, Oh, who are these people? Right. right. But Nick Merckx, he doesn't care. That dude I watched him ban like half his chat today, but even they were they were subbed for years. 
Why? There's one guy that was Did sub. Did he throw another tantrum? Oh, no. And I mean, he, he, threw te- a he tells everybody, like, you need to remain respectful in okay. chat. Well, that's fair. Right? And and only he's allowed to make fun of his friends and his mods. Uh, if anybody in chat makes fun of his friends or his mods, it's banned. Instant ban. And uh, so what happened is some guy came in and made fun of one of the mods and one of his friends. And he was like, yo, we don't do that. And he's like, he's like, mods, you know, ban him. So um, he's the exception to the rule. So. Well, I mean, it is his channel. He makes Well, and the they're rules. his friends. They're his friends. And he probably jokes so like, like that with them all the time. Yeah. So it's different when it's coming from a stranger. Yeah. That's like. It's he, bullying when it comes from a stranger. It's like, uh, him, what's, what's the big one he did today? I thought was hilarious. Yeah, because you and, watch him all cause he the said, time. He, well, he said something about, he told Tim the Tap Man, he was like, he was like, I couldn't get to the door because of your circumference was so wide or something. Like, instead of saying because you're so fat, I couldn't fit through the door. <laughs> That's just mean. <laughs> it was hilarious, though. Well, he probably couldn't get in the door because his head is so full of hot air. Because his head's so big. <laughs> um, people are making fun of him. Do you see the, the new memes they've come out with? It's... Uh, Nick Merckx looking like uh, the Mexican dude with no neck, the comedian dude. Are you serious? It's hilarious. It's so funny. There's a Nick so Merckx. Nick Merckx like, is all head those? and shoulders. No, it's like random viewers and people like that. They'll put they'll make them and post them in Discord. That's so weird. <laughs> and if he thinks it's really good, he'll take the picture out of Discord and then like put it on stream of of himself. And like at one point, he took that picture that somebody made of him looking like the comedian. Yeah. And made that his like camera his, his camera feed for the game, so he's like playing this. It's him, and you hear him eating in the background. And, and he, when he eats these freaking hot dogs and stuff, he's like way into it. It's so oh, funny. Oh yeah, he'd probably be somebody. I, well, I don't watch him anyway. Um, <laughs> it's if so he makes funny. a lot of noises with his mouth, <laughs> then yeah. Besides like, well, talking, he, he then, does yeah. it on purpose to troll Tim because Tim gets mad, when he and makes, Tim's like, yeah. bro. Do you really have to be making love to that hot dog right now? And yes, he's like, he does. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's so annoying. <laughs> Just you doing that is annoying. Don't do that on the stream, please. <laughs> I'm gonna ban you from our stream. It's no longer gonna be drinks with the Martins. Just Temporary take the ban. Off. Drink with the Martins. <laughs> hey, that's it. You're done. You're out. Temporary ban. Drinks with Scooby snacks. That's, oh, that's man. gonna be the new name of our show. <laughs> drinks you, with Scooby. If you ever make that noise again, this is like not acceptable on this channel. Ever. Like, don't even do that to me off the channel. Like, no, in no, there. No, no. no. <laughs> what are you You're talking about? I kind of already do that when I eat anyway. Yeah, but I tune it out because it's quiet. My daughter does it too. But we on the microphone, up. everybody in the, in the world, world heard can it. Hear it. It's annoying. Our daughter picked it up, so our daughter does no, it too. No, I think she, it's just genetic. Yeah, it's 100% genetic because she does it too when she eats. She sits there it's and annoying. makes sounds. Uh, and like I said, like, you know, we don't, when we're eating, we don't realize we do it. No, she never realizes. But everybody will that. turn and look at you and be like, is that good, bro? Is that good? Is like, it, are you oh, enjoying your meal or are you having a problem? Is it a minor seizure or what's going on? <laughs> I mean, it could be worse. Medical right? emergency? So. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, so it's crazy. So yeah, this year's going to be weird. This year is going to be great. This year is going to be This year's already amazing. weird. Like, I'm home all the time. Yep. And it sucks. <laughs> I'm serious, guys. Why does it suck? It sucks. I get bored. I'm bored. Yeah, because you're used to getting up, walking around, well, checking the job site. Well, I'm used to not site. being here. Well, because you're used to getting up, walking around, checking the job site, yeah, right? Yeah, and like, hanging out with people. Yeah. I, mean, I just hang out by myself. Well, you're working. I'm working. When I'm in my office working, that's I what know. I do. I just in my office I'm, I was not expecting you to hang out with me. I'm just saying it's like, it's boring. I know, but it's not boring. that bad. I, it's horrible. It's I hate it. that bad. I hate it. We can do lunches together when the world gets kind of back to normal a little bit. Magnolia 2021. Yeah, when? In like June? <laughs> I'm stuck with these commercial people that don't communicate. Don't write an email or phone call, and it's... It's going to be August. I'm sure Magnolia was covered in snow recently. The dog was over there messing with the cat. Yeah, they all got snow. Screw we them. Didn't. Screw them. We didn't get snow. A lot of people got snow. I, I wanted saw, to go play in the snow with the Jeep. That's saw, the only thing I, that I was looking forward to. Well, I saw a lot of videos of people getting in wrecks and sliding out. And like, 
Because they don't know I how saw, to drive in I the snow. I saw BMWs all off on the ditches. Like, mm. it's pretty crazy. Yeah, I am your lunch crazy. date. Unfortunately, tomorrow I'm going to College Station to uh, go deal with the situations. She's Krista's lunch date. I am Krista's lunch date, always. <laughs> and coffee date, too. I need to get some more coffee in me. I think no, I'm only you drink like two pots No, today. you don't. You don't need more coffee because you have to go to sleep. Because when I leave tomorrow morning, I'm not going to be here to wake you up. Make sure you go to work. So yeah, you have to get the kids to school because I'm leaving early. Well, I put the Jeep in the garage so it'll be nice and warm for you in the morning. It won't I'm be so hot. I'm not that bougie. <laughs> um, make sure that way you don't have to go out in the weather. I'm not that bougie. <laughs> College Station got some good slow last night. Yeah, Let's they go. did. Like one of my friends, Paul, lives in College Station, and mm -hmm. he was posting pictures of him and his dogs out there running around making snowmen, snow angels. He had his daughter out there too. They were all playing around in the snow. I mean, Kilgore got great snow too. We had our nieces and nephews making snowmen. Yep. And having snowball fights, and I mean, it, it looked really cool. That I mean, yep. downtown Kilgore looked beautiful. There's a, your mom posted pictures oh, of that. Oh, I, I got some pictures they, from a uh, guy. Beautiful, covered yeah, in I snow. got some pictures from a guy that uh, went downtown and took a bunch of photos yeah. of like. The, did you see the one with the Kilgore sign? Yeah, and the oil derricks. Like, yeah. I mean, it's it's really cool to yeah. see the snow dip down as low as we're at. Where we're at right now. I mean, I think Conroe yeah. got snow. Yeah. Too. So what's wild about all of that is we all got snow. Little Rock, Arkansas, got zero. I it know. snowed all around them. But they My didn't brother didn't get snow yeah, up in your the, the La Vista getting... either. It was like 20 some degrees though, I saw. Yeah, they were saying something cold. about how the polar vortex is collapsing, so it's supposed to be warmer in Canada than it is in the south. I don't know if that's 100. I mean, the meteorologist was saying something about that. I mean, the thing is, is that falls in line with that conversation we've had before about the 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 pole the poles reversing, right? Right. And Pole so reversal. they happen like every so many years. And we're apparently like overdue for like a 400 years or something like that was supposed to happen 400 years ago. And it hasn't happened yet. Um, well, the biggest snowfall that Houston had was 20 inches. Yeah. And it was like an 18 something. Yeah. 1892 or I know that the news posted it, but Houston used to get snow more often. Yeah. So in the 1800s, there was like 20 inches of snow. And then I think 4.4 inches of snow in 1960. Yeah. Well, I remember growing up in East Texas, we got snow every year. Yeah, in Kilgore. It was every like year snow. we got two, three, four inches of snow every year. It was like it happened every year. Yeah. It was, I was used to it. Um, and it got like really cold. Like I remember waking up and having to put like three jackets on and go outside because it was freezing. Yeah. Of course, Krista, it's not as cold as what you're used to. You're used to that like crazy cold. You're used to crazy snow. <laughs> crazy snow. Like walk outside and your whole door's covered in snow. You open the door and it's like up to the top of the door. That's crazy. I don't know if it got that bad around where you grew up, but I've heard stories that of like places that get a lot of snow yeah. while opening the door and it's just like a it's like a pile a, of snow. A pile of snow up to the top of the door and they gotta dig themselves out of the house to go to work. Like that's crazy. I see. I wouldn't want to do that. I, as much as I love snow and as much as I would love to live in the mountains, I wouldn't want to have to go outside and dig my car out every day or go out and shovel the driveway every day or shovel the sidewalk every day. Because like apparently you're like responsible for that. If you don't go shovel the sidewalk or go, don't go shovel your driveway, like you can get trouble for it or whatever. Use a flamethrower. <laughs> I did I mean, see that video. I did see that. That video. was a very smart man. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> He's out there with a flamethrower. I mean, it would give easy, you an excuse to easy. have a snowblowing machine, like your very own mm -hmm. machine at the house. Yeah. Well, I would, I would just do what what Bio did. I would, I would go ahead and buy one of those uh, the flamethrowers from uh, what's it called from that company that was selling them, Tesla from Elon Musk company, whatever. Really? <laughs> they're probably you probably can't get one now. They're probably if you can, they're probably super expensive. But, yeah, I mean, I would just get one of those and just use that easy. Yeah. I mean, we see, so when I worked up in East Texas, uh, and we'd go to work at 5 in the morning. Yeah, believe it or not, I used to wake up 5 in the morning to go to work. I used to drive them at 5 in the morning to go to work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, So, yeah, I remember would, that. It would get so cold. I remember we would sit on buckets when we worked. And they were like, you always got a metal bucket. Plastic bu buckets didn't work because it was cold, right? So you get a metal bucket, and what we would do is we get the acetylene torch, and we heat the bucket up, 
And then that's what you would sit on was this hot bucket. And so your butt was like nice and toasty. And you didn't burn a hole through your no, hands no. or, or your you britches. We never, never heated to the point where it's like glowing red. It was like you just I heated bet it you up. that some idiot. I'm did sure that. some people did. I bet you some idiot did that. No, I'm not paying attention. Over there was like, yeah, this is gonna be nice and toasty and sit down. Yeah. I was like, whoa, this is too hot. Yeah. Yeah. So hot. uh no, we never did any of that, but we'd heat the buckets up warm enough that when you sit on it, it would warm it on almost warm your whole body up. Yeah. It was kind of crazy. And you could sit there and work all day, and then if it started getting cold again, just get up, heat the bucket back up, and get right back to welding and rebuilding train cars. Good times. Good times. That's crazy. Uh, that wasn't good times. <laughs> Driving you to work that early and then coming back home yeah. was not. For me, it wasn't good times. It was what? It was like 5, five to 6, 5 to 6 p.m., 5 a.m. to 6 p.m. Yeah, every and you'd day. come home covered in soot. I'd turn the bathtub. I would take a shower. And have to wash the bathtub and then take another shower. Yeah. 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 Hand warmers work everywhere. I yeah. love hand warmers. We used to have hand warmers whenever mm -hmm. the kids played softball. Yeah. And then we'd give the girls hand warmers whenever they were yeah, hanging out I, in the dugout. I, I was actually just looking at one the other day. I had I had found one. So I'd clean my office a little bit to work on a computer and, and start selling some things so we can buy this man a little camera for him mm -hmm. but um i had found one of the hand warmers that i got when i was working at the company a few years ago and they brought some to the office to give out and uh i found one the other day and i was looking at it and i was like man this is really, really handy right now i remember using it when i worked because i type all the time yeah and it's good to warm your hands up after a while to help with arthritis yep and it just felt it felt so much better when you would do that but yeah the hand warmers we used to get for the kids all the time mm -hmm. put them in your pockets we we'll go to softball games mm -hmm. Now the little one, the littlest one, wants to go do soccer. I mean, I guess it's, <laughs> she loves to run as it is. Like she'll literally get home from school, come go outside, get on her scooter, ride her scooter for an hour, and then get off the scooter and then just go run, run. from the house to the cul-de-sac and back. And then she'll want to go walk the dogs. She's just nonstop. So yeah, I think soccer is going to be good for her. It's I think it's going to be great. Like I'm actually super excited about it. To be honest, I think that's. I mean, my, I, I grew up playing soccer. You played soccer. You know, her dad's huge into soccer. Yeah. Uh, soccer would be a lot of fun. We kind of always, it's funny, though, because you remember we used to always say that when she was little, like, this one's going to end up playing well, soccer. Well, she was two years old, and she could dribble the ball. Yeah. At and then, two. But then give it was her a like, soccer ball, and she would maneuver the soccer ball like it was nothing. It was just natural to her. Yeah, but then what happened? She just she just wanted to do dance. She wanted and, to do dance because her friends were doing dance class. I mean, she now, loves hip-hop. Yeah. And now and she's, she's like, at it. now she wants to do hip hop and soccer. So, uh, yeah, juggle the schedule. We'll mm -hmm. see how that works out. It's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to be soccer dad. Soccer dad. <laughs> this this soccer mom's gonna Dang, be too busy. Does that mean I have to go buy a car? You gotta go buy a Honda Odyssey. Oh no. <laughs> go buy a minivan. I'll, you know what? I'll go buy. It. I'll tell you what. Joe's no. gonna love this. No. I will buy a Honda Odyssey. I will put a 2.0 liter turbo engine in it with some slicks and some NOS. Let's You're go. You're not going to throw flames out the exhaust <laughs> going to soccer practice. You're like, oh, that's Alexia's dad. I remember going to the car <laughs> show in Vegas and seeing that guy pull up in his Honda Odyssey and spray NOS out the Yeah, out the that hood. was insane. And I was like, wait, this dude's got a soccer van, yeah. soccer mom van, and he's got a nitro nitro uh, with turbos. Yep. So it's like, man. Yeah, I remember he opened the trunk, and he's like, the tank sit there. And I was like, oh, my gosh, this dude's ready. I've never to... seen that before. Yeah. That was the coolest thing ever, though. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. I was like, way to take it completely out of the box. I you mean, know? You, you got, you know, work with what you got, right? Yeah. Boss moves. It is boss moves. It's great. <laughs> Let's go mid engine Honda Odyssey. Oh my god. On what would you put it? Like I don't I don't know. I'd have to I can't even think about how you would engineer that. It'd be so difficult so, to do. Let's just set the record straight. There will not be a minivan in my driveway <laughs> ever. Unless my parents are visiting. That's the only minivan allowed in my driveway. Yeah. So you're not getting a minivan. So I mean if, anything, if that's I'm the gonna case, get my Range Rover Sport. Yeah, I mean, the Range Rover Sport is super nice, but you wanted a Subaru STI. I still want my Subaru STI as soon as the Jeep payment's And done. I saw one on 59. I'm not getting it right now. Okay. Jeep's got to be paid. Well, unless you want to drive the... Well, I'll drive the Jeep here, and then I'll just take the Subaru when I go to <laughs> College Station. 
<laughs> the Jeep, coming. Okay, the, the Jeep coming. sucks to drive to College Station. Let me tell you, there's so many bumps on that road. And it's loud. And it's loud, and it doesn't handle well. And now the alignment's out again. I mean, I just had the alignment done a couple yep. months ago, and it shouldn't be out. But the fact that I'm doing so much driving with it um, and so such a long distance and hitting all those nasty roads. So, yeah, threw the alignment off completely. <laughs> Um, so I'm not opposed to getting my STI a little early than I expected, but... But it, I really like the Audi. I don't care. I, I, I want my STI. <laughs> I um, know. I've, I already said that I was, I mean, you can go ahead and get whatever you want. Hint, hint, tuner. But, I know, right? Those are, um, those are deep hints. You can get whatever you want because in the end, once the Jeep is paid off, I'm getting the STI. Yeah, true. So RS6 all the way. Yeah. Dude. So I found a, uh, I found a Audi Q8 <laughs> hybrid. Yeah, turbo. the hybrid is, is really cool. And I really, really like it. Viejo is not a big fan of the back, but it was behind that. It was between that and the Porsche. And I was like, man. No, this... I like the, I like the way that the Audi was handled whenever we went to Arkansas. When we rented the Q7. It was so comfortable. Yeah. And just Such so you guys know, you ride. can rent an Audi Q7 directly from Audi. It's called Silver Car. Yeah, I was like, when I found that, I was like, I'm not using Enterprise or none of this. I'm no, just going to get a car directly it, from them. Yep, and they literally dropped it off at the house. Yeah, they showed up, dropped it off at the house. And then they picked we it up. We ran it, and then they picked it up and took it. Yep. It was it was so, so nice. And it was actually it was actually cheaper than going through. It was about the same price. It was a little bit cheaper than I would have thought. Because yeah. normally, if you get like a. I mean, for that type of vehicle, right. I'm sure it would have been super expensive. We have looked we at have. the Q8. Yeah. Yeah, we've looked at the yeah, Q8. I've, we're I've at looked at the right Q8s now. for many years now. I've really liked them. Um, I'm just, I've always been weary pulling the trigger on them because my friends have always had issues with electronics and Audis. And we had an issue so, with electronics yeah, with the Audi. Well, we we the were Q7. driving the Q7, and all of a sudden, boom, the screens all went black. It lost signal. Yeah, it was so when you can't we got see to the top of the mountain. Yeah. Well, so the speedometer worked. No, it blinked. But nothing it, else it worked. Out. Well, it blinked out once it reset. Yeah, it was. But weird. it was still there and it worked. But the but radio the GPS stopped. The GPS and stuff stopped. stopped. Yeah. And that happened more than once. That was annoying. Like that was super annoying. I don't know. I don't know if that's like just an issue that they have or if it was just that car, right? Yeah, everyone has has had issues. Wait, what? Everyone's had issues with, with all, all types. types. Yeah. Yeah. All types of different cars, of course. But I mean that to me was a biggie whenever we yeah. the screens went black. I was like, okay, so we were literally, thank God for our phones, up in the middle of nowhere in the mountains trying to figure out where we turn next and yeah. the, the GPS goes out. That was the only issue. It was like and it like, and it wouldn't it didn't do it immediately either. It was like it saw it and then it kinda sat there for a little bit and then it was like, Oh yeah, you're having issues. Let me reset for you and it was like Yo, you've been locked and frozen for a good five minutes now. Yeah. Remember? Thank God we had our phone, so for so, real. Mm -hmm. And we kind of knew where we were anyway, so we kind of knew we had a, a turn, and we knew yeah. what road we had to turn on, but it was it would have been nice to have the GPS that gives you a little bit of an alert. Well, and honestly, like, the navigation system in the new cars nowadays anyway are not very good no, anyway. they're garbage. So it's like, just throw Google Maps on the car and call it a day. Mm -hmm. Quit trying to do your own navigation system, because they're not ever good. And then on top of that, like it was trying to route us through like Dallas when we left, and it was like, no, it's little. It was, I mean, it's half an hour longer, but it's like all direct highways. And I'm like, look, if I want to go for a road trip, I don't mind going through the small towns. We and usually towns do small and, town switchbacks and yeah. all, and just random little towns. I was literally we were driving through that little town, and my mom texted me, it was like, why do you like driving through that town? I'm like, because it's a cool little town. She's like, I always take the loop. <laughs> I'm just like we like driving through because you get to see all the historical stuff that's yeah. there, like all the old buildings, and it's just a nice little. I mean, it's if you're gonna road trip, road trip. When you got to think too, like these small towns all lived off those direct routes, and mm -hmm. when they build the when they build the loops, it kind of takes away from, from the small towns. business. Yeah, and it kind of sucks. Uh, I can know that from experience from the town I grew up in in Kilgore. It's so when they built the loop around it, it was like you can tell that the downtown, uh, you know, area was just not. It wasn't and they're great, trying so. really hard to build it up, which is nice because yeah. they've got some really cute little shops and they do a lot of little events and stuff in there to draw draw the crowd back in. So, but we like showing our little small towns love whenever we drive through them. Yep, we do. Well, awesome. Um, it's great, great seeing everybody here. I really, 
really enjoyed having the conversations with you guys all. Glad to see Krista and Joe and Vio and the regulars and Jenny. And Jenny here. showed up. Yeah, Yay. Jenny dropped in. Got a free gifted sub from Viejo, who I don't even think is subbed to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> so You just got called out. <laughs> I mean, he may be. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I think he is. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate all you guys for helping out and giving that support. Um, we'll get the... I'll see if I can find a camera. Uh, I guess that's the big thing first, right? Being able to find one. Getting it set up. Getting the cables ran for it. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if we can do like a tripod in the back or something. With we the should probably do the tripod. Down. Yeah, well, because he likes to maneuver. Like right now, he's passed out. Yeah, we'll have to do some uh, some testing. We'll just do, we'll call it the cat bed camera. If he's in there, he's in there. If he's not, it's he's not. the catastrophe zone. Yeah, the, that's what we'll do. We'll get a frame made. It's, it's the, the catastrophe caution zone. catastrophe zone. That dude <laughs> the is caution just tape. <laughs> backflips off of the, the computer and he's he's crazy. Yeah. He's crazy. The catastrophe zone. That'd be mm -hmm. awesome, actually. Better pen than that. that. <laughs> Trademark. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate you guys all hanging out with us. Um, we'll be back on Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Uh, we do have that new segment coming up. Yes. With uh, Ian. Hopefully. Um, fun facts with Ian. Be ready for fun that. Fun facts with Ian. I it's still laugh at super, that. Super, super interesting. Get him a mic. He doesn't talk. Uh, I've noticed yeah. that. He's not a talker like the other one is. Yeah, it's the other one. Speaking of uh, Huzzah. He's playing D&D, &D, so let's go try and scare him. With uh, his... Bah, 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 bah. Yeah. And everybody... Everybody, everybody say hello some... to Ian in chat. Give him some love. Yep. DWTM in chat. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys all from hanging out with us. Uh, we will see y'all Thursday right here, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Live on Twitch. Bring your drinks. Bye. Bye, guys.